write a C++ program to implement merge sort. We are performing this merge sort program by using the concept of divide and conquer method, where in which a set of elements which are given need to be divided into smaller element till we get an array with a single element and each element will be merged together to form a sorted array. So here we are writing the program in two different functions. One function is named as merge, which is used to merge two sorted array into a single array. It totally takes four parameters. It totally takes four parameters. First one is an array and uh, the other three parameters are the index of the arrays. Next method is merge sort. This method is used to repeatedly call the concept of merge sort by using divide and conquer method. The first one is the array A and L and H is the lower and higher index of the array element. So as long as the lower index is less than the higher index, we keep on dividing the entire array into half. So first we find out the mid value, which is L plus H divided by two and repeatedly call the merge sort method by using recursion. So the array will get split into two half. So first with the index from L to mid and second with from index mid plus one to H. So the merge sort method will repeatedly get called till there is a single element present in the array. So once a single element is present in the array, it call back the merge method. So merge method is used to merge two sorted array into a single array. So here the array is represented by a variable A and it index is represented by using L, mid and H. So the first part of the array will be from L to mid and the second part of the array will be from mid plus one to H. So we have two sorted array. Both the arrays are stored in the same array variable A because of recursive function call. The first array is from L to mid and second array is from mid plus one to H. So here we are writing the logic for merging two sorted array into a single sorted array. So in order to store the result, we are using a variable C, which the size of C should be H minus L plus one. So we are using a variable LB1, UB1 for lower index and upper index of the first array, which is L and mid, and LB2 and UB2 for lower index and upper index of the second array, which is mid plus one and H respectively. Now here we are writing the logic for copying the content of two sorted array into a single sorted array. So for the purpose, we are using the variable i and j as an index for the first array and second array. And k is the index for the resultant array. So i is starting from the lower index of the first array, which is LB1, and j is starting from the lower index of the second array, which is LB2, and k is initialized as zero. As long as the value of the index of the first array and second array are lesser than its upper bound, that is, i is less than or equal to UB1, and j is less than or equal to UB2, we compare the element. So if the element which is pointed by i, if it is less than the element which is pointed by j in the array, the element presented i will get stored into the newly created sorted final array, the merged array. So both pointer i and k will get increased after copying the value of a of i into c of k. Else the value which is present in J will be lesser than the value presented at I. Then the value of J pointer will get stored into the resultant merged array. This loop will get repeated as long as the value of I and J are either lesser 
or equal to ub1 and ub2 if any of the condition becomes false that means one part of the array one of the array elements need to be copied so this can be copied by using a while loop so as long as the value of i is less than its upper index less than or equal to its upper index ub1 the element present at a of i will get copied into c and similarly as long as the value of j is lesser than ub2 its upper index value presented at j will get copied into c of k now the result and merged array which is there in the variable c have to be copied back into the original array a by using a for loop all element of array c get copied into a where the index of a will be from l to h where the index of c will start from 0 so that is why we have written a of i equal to c of i minus l so first time when the value of i is l the index for c will be l minus l which will be 0 so a of l will become c of 0 a of l plus 1 will become c of 1 etc after that we have written a display method for displaying the element of the array a by using a for loop we display all the elements present in the array from starting from index 0 till n minus 1 in the main method we accept how many number of elements need to be taken from the user by using a variable n And we accept all the values in an array A by using a for loop. We have written C in A of i. So A of i will get repeated for the index i starting from 0 to n minus 1. So total n values it will take. The array can be displayed by calling display method. Merge sort method can be called by using merge sort method that totally takes three parameters. The array name, the lower index of the element which is 0, the higher index of the element which is n minus 1. After performing merge sort, we can display the array once again by calling the method display. execute and see the program output Thank you for watching this tutorial.